All right, I wanna follow up on the last technique that we covered where we set up the head and arm choke from the side smash position and talk about one way where the person on bottom will probably react to be able to try to uh, withstand the head and arm choke, okay? And we're gonna look at a really nice transition to take the back, and not just take the back, but take the back and finish right away, okay? So, everything is gonna be the same. I achieved the side smash. I got to the head and arm control here, okay, for the choke, and I start to come in to mount and look to get to, you know, the finishing position, which was knee in the stomach, but at this point, when someone feels this and they know it's coming, they're, one thing that they'll try to do is turn really hard to their left, okay, yes, and if I can't keep his shoulders pinned flat onto the mat, I'm not going to be able to finish the head and arm choke, so at this point, look, I, I've already lost a lot of my you know, uh, tightness and my squeeze, okay? But I still have a great position here. And look, when his back is not flat on the mat, that means it's exposed and we can look to take his back, okay? So I'm gonna keep my hands locked here, all right? And what's really nice is, is he'll probably wanna squeeze his elbow down to his chest to keep his neck from getting choked, okay? And that's only gonna help us set up this RNC, all right? So. When I'm here, I'm gonna slide my knee up to the back of his uh, shoulders and back, okay? Upper back area here. And I'm gonna use my hands locked here around his ear to sit him up, okay? Now, I'm gonna sit to my butt as I lift him up, just like this, okay? Let's turn a little bit. So you saw what my leg is doing. Now, I want you to pay attention to my arms. So my leg slides up, I sit to my butt and I lift him. Now at this point, he's 100% concerned of his back, and he's really not thinking about his neck. And you'll see, because his arms are low, there is space right here. So as I'm pulling him over to take his back, I'm gonna switch my arms and let my arm creep around and slide under his chin in this process, okay? So, let you guys see in a little more real speed. I'm here, I slide my leg up, I lift, and here I'm already sliding my arm through for the choke, all right? Now the finish for this is gonna be a little different because I'm going to this side, it's gonna be hard for me to slide my arm behind his neck. So as I switch my arms, I'm just gonna make that same sort of lock with my hands that we were using for the head and arm and I'm gonna let my elbow lay next to my ribs as I'm on my shoulder, okay? Now from here, I'm just gonna use this lock to squeeze and finish the choke, okay? So. Let's stay angled over here. I got to the head and arm. I work my way over. I'm looking for the finish. He turns hard to his side. He stays over here. So I have this sort of positioning. I slide my knee up behind his head. I use my hands. They stay locked. I sit him up and transition to this choke immediately, okay? We're not just thinking about hooks. We're thinking about the finish and getting this RNC, okay? So I sit him up. Now look, as my right arm's coming out, my left arm's coming through, I lock my hands. Here I can put the other hook in, and I'm in position to finish, all right? One more time, turn just a little bit. This is coming in as the other one's coming out. Immediately I lock. You gotta lock this while you're still in transition. If I fall and now try to figure out how to use my hands, I'm gonna miss the moment of the choke, okay? So as this comes through, I'm locking, and then we fall in position, and then here I squeeze, and there's the finish. So this is a very great way to still set up the submission, even when they're looking to counter the head and arm choke. Um, you know, I've used this one with much success. A lot of people don't realize, you know, they don't, they don't sense or, 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 or see that arm coming through under their chin during that transition. That's what we're trying to take advantage of, is attacking in the transition, when they're thinking of one thing and not the other, all right? Uh, so be sure to be, bring this into the head and arm position and look for that back and look for that quick RNC.